This part of the video is designed to show you what the students see if they're using their iPad. Now, it's not possible for me to mirror a student iPad because of the school security settings. So I'm just going to have to use the iPad in real time with my fingers so you can see what it looks like and where the students have to go to access class notebook. OK, so I'm going to use an example of a class that has had class notebook set up for them. So this is a typical third form list. OK, and this is the chemistry class that I know uses class notebook a lot. So there's the chemistry. First of all, they need to be in the general tab. So it may well be that their teacher uses multiple channels. The channel that they have to go to is general. Now, if you look over here, they've got posts, files and more. They need to go to more. And that is what brings up the option of viewing the class notebook. OK, you'll see what is happening is that class notebook uses an embedded version of OneNote. So at the moment, all they can see is the landing page, the welcome to class notebook landing page. It's not necessarily very obvious where they need to go next. They need to press on this purple arrow in the top left hand corner in order to actually open up the notebook. OK, so now here is the chemistry notebook, because that's the one that's highlighted, with the pupil's name and the various sections. When they tap their name, the sections drop down. So if his teacher has said this is part of lessons, you'll find the work in lessons. As soon as they tap lessons, all the different lessons will then appear. If the lesson they're looking for doesn't appear, it may well be that they need to synchronise. How do they synchronise? Well, they tap the space just underneath. You see what's happening here? That little thing at the top there? That's forcing a sync. So they pull down and it syncs. OK, so pull down and then any paper, any page that they can't see should appear. That's if the teacher has properly synchronised the notebook to begin with. So it may be a teacher issue. If it's not a teacher issue, then it's the pupil that needs to pull down and synchronise the page. OK, again, if we go back, we can see where this is sitting under chemistry, lessons and then the appropriate lesson. OK, let's just do that one more time. I'm going to close this and go back into Teams. We're going to try that for a different class. OK, this is the example of the English class. So again, we're in general. We're going to go to more. And that gives us access to the class notebook. OK, this is the landing page for English. So we're going over here to the purple arrow. If the notebook is closed, it's just going to look like that. So you may get some pupils saying, I can't see it, I don't know where it is. Or trying to open the content library and getting all confused about where things are. They need to tap on their name. That's what brings up the various divided sections where you have sent the work to. So, for example, there is the Romeo and Juliet task, the revision task this class has been sent. This was sent a little while ago. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you've got bars appearing down here. This bar shows you the last person who interacted with this screen. And actually, if you if you hover over it, if you're using a Mac and you hover over it or you tap, you can see exactly who that was and what time they interacted with it. OK, it looks like the iPad doesn't give you that information. If you're on a PC, however, it does. 
So actually the last person who interacted with this page was the teacher. MS is Moya Sarah. And if you look at the bars down the right hand side, you can see which bit the teacher has checked. If the last person who interacted with this play was the pupil, we'd have TW for Traherne William as the last person who interacted with this. So that you can tell if the pupil has actually managed to get onto the page. If they're saying, I couldn't open it, there was nothing there. But if you can see their initials appearing next to the bar, you know that's not true and they could access it. And they have accessed it. Okay, so that is a pupil view of class notebook within Teams.